Hello and welcome. Today's video I have an untubing and I hadn't planned on doing any more unboxings or untubings until I had gotten to some of the ones I've already opened. But this one's a little different because I ordered this kit on October the 21st of 2021 and from Craftably and it was a pre-order and I just received it last week and today is the 6th of June. I received it about five days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. It's been so long. I didn't even look on their website to see what the canvas was going to look like because I wanted it to be a surprise when I opened it. So I started opening it and then I thought, I'll go ahead and do a video so you guys can see as well. So the kit is Language of Flowers. I have not flipped the actual canvas over yet, um, but it's Language of Flowers. And it is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. There is going to be an event that's coming up. I may, the event may even be in July, and I can't decide what I want to work on, and that's one of the reasons why I also opened this, because I may go ahead and do this one instead of another one that I had thought about doing. Craftably comes in these really cool, very durable tubes, and it also comes within a box. But the tubes are really nice. You can use them for other things as well. So I'm going to put that to the side. We also have a toolkit. It comes in a purple burlap sack that says Craftably. And I understand the um, issues that Craftably was having with their supplier, their manufacturer from China. You know, I totally get that. And the supply chains, I'm not um, saying anything bad about Craftably at all. I'm just letting you know when I did order this. We also have some really pretty pink washi. They give you um, two rolls of washi. It's random washi, so you don't ever know what you're going to get. Then you have a pin with a single placer on the end here. And then you also have, it's like a four placer. You get your standard boat. You get some wax a cover minder and with the cover minder if you're not familiar of what a cover minder is it is used to hold back the plastic if you do not use release paper and it's also really cute it adds to your canvas while you're working this is a seven placer we have some tweezers and then a little squishy to help if you use this, this type of pen here it's good to use on the end so it helps with your hands. So I'm going to put this back. And I only ordered one on the pre order. I know that several others that I've seen on Instagram have ordered two or three, and I think that all of theirs have come in as well. I'll move all this over so I have plenty of room. We also have the drills. Drills are darker. It's kind of hard to focus on those. I'm not going to open all the drills because they're hard to get put back in. The drills look really good. This is a round. It's a 20 by 28 inch. I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to adjust the camera. Give me just one second. Okay, I am back. There is a little bit of a glare and I do apologize. It is the overhead light. It's still very early in the morning and so I'm having to use more over light, more overhead light than natural light. But um, I think she's really pretty. Um, there are 65 colors and you do get a really nice schematic here that you can use if you kit up. And these are large, they're easy to see. It is on really good sticker paper. And they also give you the actual picture, really small photo that I will use for my logbook. And they have some cute other little stickers. It says, I sweat glitter, just cause stickers, some little diamond stickers. 
I love DP. And again, this is a language of flowers four. So I know there's um, three other ones. It also will give you a checklist if you want to look and make sure you have all the diamonds. I've never had a problem with Craftably. I'm trying to get this where it's in focus. It just does not want to focus today. Okay, I want to first focus on her face. I mean, her eyes are just gorgeous. They're really large. They're going to be blue, it looks like. Um, even her nose is good. The rendering is really good on this. And I love all the flowers that's around her. Of course, flowers, since it's a language of flowers. And um, it also has a schematic on both sides. I tend to cover this up with washi. I don't ever use this, so it doesn't matter to me that I cover it up. And then here's the other side here. It does say craftably at the top diamond painting. And then it has a guarantee that's at the bottom that if you have any problems, you can contact Craftably. And I've never had to do that either. I have purchased several of theirs. Their canvases are really good. The canvas also has the scalloped edges and the stitching, which helps it to where it does not fray. Nothing's worse than working on a canvas. And then towards the end, it starts to fray and it just about ruins your canvas. I've had that happen before on another company and I swore I wouldn't buy from them again until they did something to theirs because I've gotten so used to these scalloped edges. And I just really like all the colors in here, how pretty the green is. And I, I will go ahead and open, I wasn't going to, but let's go ahead and open the actual drills. I wanna see what they look like. There's going to be a lot of drills considering that there's 65 colors in here. Okay, let's see. And this is a round kit. But there's definitely a lot of colors. These are really pretty. I really like. I'm going to flip this over so you can see the drills better. It's hard to see with all the bright colors on this canvas. This one I think is going to be really fun to work on. And some of these only have very few that's in the bag. So like this gray, it doesn't have very many at all. I'm looking at the quality of the drills. These look really good. There's lots of grays and greens. And there's a red in there. That's really pretty. Lots of grays. These look really good. They're already really shiny and they're in a bag. I think that must be. There's two bags of 310. And that looks like that's going to be part of her face. There's lots of pinks in here. My mom's favorite color was red. So when I saw this, it has a lot of burgundy in it and that's fine. I think that's going to be really pretty and she loves flowers. So I thought this will be absolutely perfect for me to do. I may end up doing this one in June or July. June is completely full. There's a small little pink one that got away there in the beige. These are really pretty. I've never had any issues with Craftably, and their canvases are so soft. They are one of my favorite companies. I think what I'll do going forward, though, is instead of pre-ordering, I will just order what is on their um, website, and that is available. And for me, it's really no big deal that it did take a long time just for the fact that I have so much else that I can do. But I really don't like to just have something out there and trying to remember that I've got a kit that I need to keep up with of you know, the location, if it's shipped, and you know what's going on. And I do, once again, apologize for the glare. I don't want the glare so bad today. We are going to get some 
really bad weather or we're supposed to. Let's see. There's ABs. I wonder if there's any ABs in here. These are really pretty white ABs, very shimmery. Here's some red. That's really pretty. I love that red AB. And then here is some blue ABs. Some, oh, we've got special drills in here. There's two special drills that are in here. We have a gold and a couple of blue that have gotten in here. And then there's some blue on the special drills. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And I think I will get this one kitted up for July. The one I was planning on doing, I'm not sure if I want to do it yet. And I'm one of those that I have to look at a canvas and decide like whenever I'm ready to work on one, if it speaks to me or not. Even though I have so many, I look at the few that I have that I have kitted, either kitted up or that I have available um, that's easy to get to, that's I've already opened. I like to do those first. Checking on the sticky, that this one's really pretty. And there's not any rivers. Of course, there wouldn't be, I wouldn't think. But this is completely straight. Um, it looks like, just based on the overhead light, that, you know, there are some areas on the canvas. I don't even need to straighten out this cover. I mean, it is just perfect coming straight out of the tube. But this one is just really pretty. I just absolutely love her eyes. Some of the ABs of the blue and the special drills I think are gonna go on her eye. And I'm trying to see what else. There's a lot of, let's have a lot of color blocking in here. So this should go fairly quickly I may go ahead and do this one for the next event because I think it will go very fast. I'm really curious to see what her face, her um, skin tone is going to look like, as well as her hair. I think the flowers will be fine. I always, I'm always concerned about skin tone because you just don't ever know when you're getting into a canvas what the skin tone is going to look like. And I've had some that have been really bad. Um, but nothing from craftably, so I don't. I think this is going to be really good. Here is the entire canvas, kind of scanning over, painting over just a little bit. But um, I really like this one. I like how colorful I think she's going to be, and I still can't just get over the eyes. I think the eyes are going to be a big focal point of this canvas. If you liked this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't already done so. I am really excited for my channel and I love all of my subscribers. And if you um, would like to see more content as it comes out, please click on the bell notification. That way you will be notified for any future uploads. And as always guys, please keep crafting. Have a good one.